Ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Yes, I love it. You guys sound ready. So I'm going to be bringing out some single men. They're going to be coming out one by one. When he comes around this corner, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you know, outfit is on point, whatever. He, you know, he says some good stuff that you love to hear. Do not pop your balloon. However, if there's any red flags, mm -hmm, Jill, she's already ready. She's ready to pop. <laughs> any red flags, anything you're not liking, go ahead and pop it. And then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? All right, so let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is uh, Ma Wooten. Ma Wooten? Ma Wooten. Ma Wooten. It's Yoruba. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 27 years old, okay. and I also go by Moses. Got it, okay. It was given to me by a prophet seven days after my birth. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in this... Now look. But it seemed like a real nice guy. You know what I'm saying? And these folk then already popped almost all their balloons. Let's see what happened. Situation, do you prefer us to call you Moses? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Moses, what do you do? I am an aerospace engineer, and I'm also COO and co-founder of my own fitness tech startup that I'm building uh, cool. called FitKO. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Well, I like to you know, hit the gym, you know, lift some weights. Uh, I also, I'm also learning boxing, you okay. know, to help with my startup. And like biking, like video essays, I'm kind of nerdy like that, <laughs> where I like video essays about psychology, philosophy. Hey, look, that's the vibe he would give me, like nerdy vibes, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to say it if he didn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's definitely the vibe he giving me. Women usually don't go for nerds, and the, and that's the crazy part about it, right? Because those are some of the best people that you can settle down with. You know what I'm saying? Because they already got their careers in order for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Um, they already know what they want, you know, because they ain't had much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's the nice guy that most women say they want. You feel me? But let's see how they take to him. Philosophy, stuff like that. Got and it. then after I'm done with all my responsibilities, you know, game for a little bit. Okay. You know, board games with some friends, family. Oh, nice. Yeah. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? I really enjoy kindness. You know, someone I can feel comfortable around. You know, someone who doesn't take themselves too seriously, doesn't take life too seriously. And, you know, we can build together and be, you know, have passion. Okay. You know, passion about our our hobbies, uh, our careers, and just be happy, passionate people together. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'd have to say kids, but not like a direct deal breaker. I'd prefer not. Okay. Only because I didn't really grow up. <laughs> I didn't really grow up with like, you know, little cousins, little sisters, little, you know. So I feel like I'm not, you know, built for that. <laughs> but I'm not... <laughs> It's not, I'm not completely against it. Okay, so you are you don't want kids at all? Or oh, I do just, want you, kids. Okay, you yeah. just don't want to date someone with kids? Yeah. Well, that's not a preference for right now. I see it a little in, in my future, okay. because right now I see myself, I'm like building my castle, you mm. know, mm -hmm. before I bring, you know, my princess in, you know? Okay, all right. So we did get um, a few pop balloons. Let's yeah. go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping, uh -huh. okay? Let's start right on over here with your name and age. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm 24. And Jasmine, what do you do? I'm a cosmetologist and I do fitness on the side. Okay. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I um, I just waited a little bit just because I like to hear people out, yeah. you know. Um, but I do have two kids. Yeah. Okay. okay. Obviously, you know you said the kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a deal breaker per se, but <laughs> you know. Got it. But she's someone that's your type. I'd say she's my type. She's. Very pretty, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she's got a nice smile. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our next lady over here. Your name and age? Uh, my name is Alexis. I'm 24. And Alexis, what do you do? I work for the state of Arizona. Okay, very cool. So obviously, I don't know if you noticed, we do got twins here. Did you notice that? No, I noticed now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. I'm a little, a little slow sometimes. <laughs> and Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um just not physically attractive. Look, you're very handsome, but. Don't I, worry, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to that compliment for at least 10 years. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I was, 
She he said I'ma hold on to that compliment for at least ten years. He probably don't get complimented like that a lot. Hey, but look, I guarantee you that's what most of these women issues is gonna be. Physical attraction. Which I can't knock them for that, but man, is that always gonna be the case? You know what I'm saying? Are you just gonna let a good thing walk out of your life because you're not physically attracted to him immediately? You know, because sometimes you can get attracted to somebody through conversation, through, you know, understanding, through time spent. You mean, you know what I'm saying? That's That go for men and women, you know, but it don't seem like I'm willing to bet nobody is going to get this man the time of the day based off of his appearance. You know, he, he up there, he look a little geeky, you know, he talk a little geeky, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I, I just feel like they're not going to go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you said she's your type and with them being twins, I don't know. I mean <laughs> I don't think I'm into people, you know, with their name starts with A. You know, okay. I'm I'm completely joking. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's like a joke. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go on to our next lady over here. Your name and age. Alaya and I'm twenty five. Alaya, what do you do? I'm a cake decorator. Oh, and uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's just the overall aesthetic. I just don't feel like it matched my vibe. Yeah. Mm. So that's just it. Oh, I'm, all, I'm lactose intolerant, so we couldn't get along. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And he got to sit. Hey, I, them shoes weren't that. Them shoes weren't hitting on nothing, though. I ain't going to care. With the white socks, you feel me? But listen, it ain't nothing to take a man and ladies. Take a man and help mold him you know what i'm saying if he already got all the other attributes you can make him to your liking you know what i'm saying put a different outfit on him you know what i mean point him in the di right direction to a dentist or whatever the case whatever you feel like is off about his aesthetics you know what i'm saying <laughs> straight up but he seemed like a good guy though man <laughs> that's fine as well <laughs> 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 is Alaya, I'm saying that right, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, I like bright colors, you know, it really like pops, mm -hmm. so I'd say so. Okay, uh. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Let's go to our next lady here, your name and age. I'm Asia, I'm 25. And Asia, what do you do? I do modeling, content creation, and, and I work with the black owned brands. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> and uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I love all your attributes, but just weren't my type. Yeah, fair, fair. Yeah. What makes him not really your type? Um, I would say the aesthetic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What What is my aesthetic? I was going to say. It's just not for me. I like the aesthetic. I like the shirt. You know, I like how you put it all together. But I don't. I don't think it's for me. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm so I can't about. put my finger on. Hey, look. She said she liked the shirt. She liked the outfit. She liked the way you put it together. So basically, you think he ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just call it what it is. Or or you don't like his presence or something, his energy. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You ain't attracted to this man, dog. Just say he's just... Just say what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Flat shoes? That might be it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll wear high heels next Please. time. Please. Yeah, I'll <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> so what's, what, you, what would you say is your aesthetic? Because you've got that twice now. They don't, I don't they don't know. I'm kind it. of a dork. Okay. But like an endearing dork, you mm. know. Okay. You know? <laughs> you know, I can talk your head off about like some random topic. Yeah. Got it. You know, I love I love women who are yappers. So <laughs> that's like that's my my thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now is she someone that's your type? Look, and y'all know most of y'all like to talk, man. Y'all know most of y'all like to talk, man. And y'all popping up y'all done popped all y'all balloons damn near. And then man like a woman that can talk. Uh, mm. I don't know. Models, they, you know, they, they got a lot of business prospects. They got to be flying in and out mm. places. I, I like someone who's a little closer. Okay. So I, I, I did fly that. here, so I get it. <laughs> <Great>. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on over here. Your name and age. My name is Princess. I'm 23. And Princess, what do you do? Um, customer service and real estate. Mm -hmm. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Initially, it was the outfit that threw me off, okay. um, but I do have a daughter, so. Okay. Got it. Okay. And now, is uh, Princess someone that's your type? I do like tattoos, you know. <laughs> I like art of any kind. I appreciate uh, it. 
honestly, I don't really have like a type type. Okay. And I had to get to know someone to really be close to them. That That's sense. why I like yappers. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age. I'm Alex. Hey, look, and he just said exactly what what I was just talking about. He got to get to know somebody to really get close to them. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. You feel me? Like, I'm pretty sure he's the type of guy that's willing to take something that he doesn't usually go for or whatever the case, and he's willing to work with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying. They should be more open-minded about with him. You know, if a guy comes and he has 9 out of 10 of your qualities that you want, then, you know, it ain't going to hurt to give him a chance, you know, or, or to at least see what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Exchange numbers or something. See what he got going on later. You feel me? Because you ain't, sometimes you ain't really going to know until you know. I'm 25. And Alex, what do you do? I'm a data analyst. Oh. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, maybe not this lifetime. Maybe the next lifetime next when lifetime. we're like butterflies and squirrels. You know, like if we got like got reincarnated. You. But this lifetime, Dang, it's not you, in God's plan. You yeah, know? You, you kept your balloon the longest. I thought, yeah, I was trying to find a, some trying, razzle like, dazzle you're about to see you, the next but lifetime? it wasn't razzling or dazzling for not me. Razzling so. and dazzling. But you're very sweet, though. I'm, somebody will, will love you for who you are, but yeah, just not me. You know? I, I love me, but it's Good. okay if you don't love me. Somebody will, uh, just, just not me. Eventually. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, she's someone that's your type. Uh, next question. Oh. Yeah, keep it pushing. <laughs> yeah, keep it pushing. Cause she, cause she slick, she slick with trying to join, fool. She was slick on your top, man. She talking about maybe if we were squirrels and butterflies. Nah, how you know he would want you if he was a squirrel or a butterfly? You feel me? Keep it pushing, man. That you did right. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Let's go over <laughs> your name and age. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm 22. Taylor, what do you do? I'm a lash artist, so I do that full time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's the outfit. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it. And I don't know, the aesthetic too. Mm. It's not my type. But isn't like aesthetic and <laughs> like like outfit the, like the same thing? I mean like the whole video gaming and like... Oh, I said that last. Dang, I should yeah. have not said well, that. Well, I mean you said like... After I'm done with my responsibilities. Yeah. You know, as a co-founder. Just, mm, right. Not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not... They don't care about his career choice. They don't care about nothing else he got going on besides his aesthetics. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, I guess men do that to women, you know what I'm saying? But we'll do the opposite also, you know what I'm saying? I done seen many men take women. Shoot, I done took a woman that I probably wasn't, people would, would think is, isn't the best looking or something. Put them on my, under my arm and, and, you know, shoulder the way. You know what I'm saying? Don't wear them shoes. Wear them. Don't tie them up too tight. Keep them loose a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Don't wear the the, the Echo jeans. Put on the, the True Religions. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not to say that it's all about brands. You know what I mean? But you can put somebody down, fool. Let them, let them know how to do this. You know what I mean? I, I think it's just physically, like, attraction. Yeah. <laughs> I can't change that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All you right. said next question on that last one. Is she your type? Uh, I don't think of anything in particular. I, I prefer kindness. I guess kindness is my oh. type. Okay. Sorry. Uh, but, <laughs> so. I'm just being honest. I mean. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go on to our last lady here. Your name and age? Paris, I'm 28. Harris, what do you do? I do property management, model, content creation, stuff like that. Yeah. Busy, yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest. I do see you like a brother and oh, like a homeboy. I'm going to be honest. And the type of person I am, I have big mama energy, and yeah. I'm a big dominant. And it's, yeah. I, what? I wish I understood what that meant. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's like I'm a person that like power, mm -hmm. and I carry along like alpha men energy. I'm alpha. <laughs> oh, she ain't finna find no date. It's over with for you then, baby. If that if that what you pushing, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you promoting, here, you ain't finna find nobody. If somebody go, if somebody go for that, then they still getting their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? They... 
they call it a beta male. You know what I mean? If if somebody allowed their woman to be an alpha or something like that, you know, too aggressive, then man, look, I'm telling you right now, you gonna have to do some fixing with with buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like he he probably a crier or something. Straight up alpha female that's also in tune with my divine feminine and masculine energy so i'm somehow more confused but i i, I like i, I, I like i, I like long ex explanations you know i like i like things that are, that are in depth even if i have no idea what she's saying but uh, <laughs> i'm sorry i, just, I wish i just okay. said okay. Okay. <laughs> now is she someone that she, she's your type if you saw her out would you approach her uh I don't know. I guess the dominant aura would just keep me away. I'd be like, oh, oh God. And I, I, I get a little scared, you know? Okay. But. Hey, that's any man. That's any man who who, who ain't got the time. You know what I'm saying? Because I know me personally, shout out, I'm not trying to sit here and go back and forth with no dominant woman. You know, let me lead. You lead in your own ways, you know, as far as what women do. Let me lead as far as what men do. And let's do what we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up. You not finna be fussing at me in my house or whatever else, you know? Straight up. Uh. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's head on back this way. So that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Well, have fun. <laughs> nice meeting y'all. Thank try, you. <laughs> All right, ladies, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? So my name is Jairus Williams. Jairus? Jairus Williams. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 26. 26, and what do you do? So I'm a Marine vet, and I'm a Christian recording artist. I sing. Nice. Well, thank you uh, for your service. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh... I ain't gonna count. I ain't expect him to say a Christian recording artist. That that shirt look a little magic Mike-ish. You know what I'm saying? On everything. I love the water. I'm a water baby, so okay. uh, you know I was um I'm the only home birth out of uh, all eight children. Wow. So um I love the water because I was born in the water. So okay. I'm a little fishy, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm a little swimmer, you know what I mean? Okay. So. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um she gotta be God fearing for sure. Um and she gotta be kind. She got to be gentle. She got to be loving. And uh, she also got to support her man okay. in everything that he do, just like I'm going to support you in everything that you do. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, somebody who's not willing um, to listen, willing to learn, um, willing to grow in their relationship with God. I understand that some people may not know who God is mm -hmm. or never have an experience with God. But if you're willing, like God expects us to be, I can rock with that. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so we, we did get a, a pop balloon. That's all right. Let's head on over there and see why she ended up popping. I ain't going to count. Buddy seemed intentional, man. Buddy seemed very intentional. Let's see how this go. I bet you he ain't going to go for the masculine one at the end, though. Straight up. I bet you that. Hello. If we can start off with your name and age. My name is Jasmine. I'm 24. Okay. And Jasmine, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I think you're very handsome, sure. you know, but it's just not really my, my type. But you're very handsome. Okay. And I love the words you spoke. So yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, what makes him not really your type? Um. Oh, she popped hers. Look at her. <laughs> the masculine one popped hers, man. Let me hear that. I want. I want to know why she popped her balloon, man. Cause I wanted him to pop her balloon straight up. I... Well, I think he's really handsome. I just think that you Thank know. You. Yeah, of course. Um, and he spoke beautiful words, and I love that, you know, but it's just not really my um, thing. I think maybe the girl, maybe that. Oh, I'm from Texas, so that's, what, that's how we get down. So. Oh, I, it's nice, though. <laughs> oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and now, uh, is she someone that's your type? Um, she's very beautiful. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of approaching. Okay. So, um, not that I'm against it or anything like that, but she's definitely so, like, very, very beautiful. So, absolutely. All right, cool. Thank you. Go to our next lady. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Um, my name is Alexis. I'm 24, Hello. and um, I pop my balloon because, like my sister said, <laughs> you're very handsome. You're, you know, very well put together. Thank you for your service, by the way. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh -huh. Um, it's just not like you're not bad looking. I'm just not like attractive. Okay. 
That's fine. Actually, we like the girls too, by the way. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So I know you said you don't do a lot of approaching, mm-hmm. and they are sisters, so you said you. Like oh yeah, we definitely don't do that. I'm a man of God, so. Yeah. Oh no, no, I didn't say you approached them both. Oh. I meant saying like they're twins. Oh okay, okay, <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I know you said she was, you know, she was ready for all that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. She's someone that's your type as well. Hey, shout out, man of God, for real. <laughs> he thought she said you want both of them. He like, nah, I'm a man of God. I love God too much <laughs> on everything. That was up, man. Uh yes. Okay. Just wasn't approach. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age? Aliyah, and I'm 25. All right, and Hello. Aliyah, why'd you end up popping your balloon? It's the water thing. I have a fear of the water. I can't swim to save my life, so that wouldn't be a good match for me. I can't swim either, so. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. you I'm can't being honest. But you love the water? How do I got a life water? jacket. Oh, okay. I'll stay with him. So I got one for you, too. Uh, I mean, well, I had one for you. So. Okay. Okay. It was prepared. That. You prepared. Yeah. Yeah, but it was the water thing. It was, I thought that was, like, a big thing for you. It was, like, in your lifestyle, and I didn't want to be, you know, intruding on that. So oh, I appreciate that. that. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Okay. I mean, he said he can't swim. He got a life jacket for you. I don't know, but it seemed like he want to do a lot of water activities, and I... I don't know, man. I think she caffeine, y'all. I think she... I think it's a different reason. He just didn't expect her to say he can't swim either. You feel me? Just keep it gangster. This pound of hill, keep it gangster, y'all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So is she someone that's your type? Um. Yes, yeah, she's very beautiful. I still wouldn't approach. Okay. I'm very particular. Okay. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age? I'm Asia. I'm 25. How you doing? And Asia, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, no particular reason. It's mm. just um, feel like. Not really my type. Okay. I love that what you were saying about the Lord, though, for sure. For sure. Resonate with that. Okay. Yeah. What kind of makes him not really your type? A little taller. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. We hear that sometimes. Exactly. You know, we can't change our height, so yeah. it's all good. Okay. You know. And how tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'10". 5'10"? Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Okay. It's and, all right. <laughs> and now she's someone that's your type? Um, She's very attractive. Mm-hmm. Uh, still would not approach because I'm very particular. I know what I'm looking for. All right. All right. Thank you. So let's go on over here. Your name and age? Princess. I'm 23. Okay. And Princess, Hello. Princess, why did you end up hopping your balloon? Um, I would say at first it was the whole cowboy thing, but I was like, you know, that's not. But then the more I thought about it, I'm more so spiritual. I've been trying to figure out how I feel about religion. You know, mm-hmm. I grew up Christian and into that, but I've been figuring it out myself. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you probably want someone who's already finding their self with God type type deal. Uh, not necessarily. Um, so I'm a Christian recording artist. I'm a Christian man. Um, but my, my debut album is called Coming Into Faith. So it's telling my testimony. Mm-hmm. I was still in the clubs. I was still drinking, smoking, partying. Um, I faced death and stuff like that mm-hmm. multiple times. So um, I don't, you know, judge people where they are. You know, uh, we can grow together if that Hey, so if you a Christian, you can't smoke or drink? Because all them old ladies in the church, I know they I know they sinning. Straight up. Most of the old ladies I know smoke or drink and be in church early Sunday morning and evening. It was going to be a thing, you know what I mean? Um, I just wanted somebody who was willing, you know? Yeah, you don't have that. to be, like, on this high level, like, right. super, like, pastor and this and that. Like, no. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Okay, I feel that. Mm-hmm. Right, thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm 25. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet um, you, too. You're really cute. I'm just not a fan of piercings. Oh, that's okay. That's it. I mean, yeah, just piercings. Oh, okay. I respect that. Okay. And now she's someone that's your type? Uh, she's very attractive. Um... I know I'm saying a lot of the same things, but uh, at the end of the day, I just still wouldn't approach. Um, not anything against you or anything. I, like I said, I know what I'm looking for. So, Respect. Mm, but you are very beautiful. I want to let you know that Thank you. for sure. All right, let's go over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 22. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, the reason I just feel like more like close friends. You know, you're attractive. I like I like it all, but for sure. 
Yeah, I'm just getting like we can have like a real good bond. Yeah. Feeling <laughs> the same vibes? Oh, I appreciate the friend. Um, how she said we can be close friends and things like that. But um, I'm not looking for friends right now. Um, uh, I'm looking for love. You know. Hey, what I told y'all, but it seemed intentional. Straight up, he said he ain't looking for no friends. He looking for love. That's what he. That was, and, and the lad girl that was on there. Me personally, I'm not finna eliminate no woman that has all the other attributes that I want or that I feel like I need just because they have a piercing. You know that crazy. I tell her take that piercing off as soon as we start dating. As soon as we get a little serious, hey, listen, you know I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's great. Let, let's figure this out, you know, because that piercing thing, I don't know. It might be sending the wrong message, you know, something like that. You feel me? But I definitely wouldn't have eliminated her because of that. Somebody to marry and cherish um, and have kids with and stuff like that. So, Understandable. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. So my name is Paris. I'm 28. Hello. Hi. So I popped my balloon because um, <laughs> I'm an ominous and I don't want it to get to a point where it's just like it becomes forceful in a situation. Like everything you list is cool. Like I'm like a person that um, I'm supportive of everything and everybody and whatever their journeys are. It's just that it's going to always be an issue like in the future. Like when are you going to, you know, come back? And I kind of graduated from religion. Hey, look, nah, I can feel that though. I, I can't. Even, I thought she was gonna get up there and say some BS like she told the geek guy, but nah, I can feel that though, cause them Christians, all them, all them religious type people, and that's and just so y'all know, I'm more of a spiritual type person too. But all those religious type people, they, they try to sway you towards the end of the fence at, sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? So I do think that probably would have been an issue, especially how serious he seemed like he is about his Christian faith. You know, that was going to be a conversation later for sure. So, yeah. Okay. But you is handsome as fuck, though. I ain't finna lie. Okay. I right. appreciate <laughs> you. And you're very beautiful. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, you know, from the bottom of my heart, um, God has saved me from a lot of things. Like I said, I faced death uh, a lot of times, and um, he's the only one that brought me through. So... I can sing, I have a gift to sing, and I'm very good at it. And so I gave it to the Lord, and he gave it back to me. And he said, go reach my people. I'm gonna give you the message to convey. Now go convey. And I'm gonna be an, I'm gonna be an obedient child, and I'm gonna do just that. Um, so nothing or no one can detour me from that, but I do appreciate your honesty and being upfront with me, absolutely. But um, that's just my calling, and I don't force that on anybody. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's head back this way. Okay, so that is all the balloons popped, but we do thank you very much for coming on. Let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for them, ladies. Thank y'all, ladies. Thank you. Hey, yeah, so that's the end of the video, man. Hey, so what y'all think about the first guy, dog? Y'all think he was too nice? Y'all think they should have gave him a chance? How y'all feel about that? Y'all drop a comment, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But, hey, man, that's another video, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, comment, and until next time, 100.